Hello everyone, Jason Nader Day Trader here with a quick and fast feature demo. Feature demos are a new segment that I'm starting designed to be a quick format type of video that hopefully will assist you in creating your trading tools. As you can see, I'm on the road this week, but that's not going to stop us from creating some awesome components for our trading toolkit. say you have this new great trading idea and you want to take advantage of favorable margin requirements during certain market hours or maybe you only want to analyze market metrics within a certain window of time to help you decide whether to enter or exit a trade well you're in luck because today's feature demo is going to show you how to do exactly that with a feature included in ninja trader called the session iterator here are the topics I want to hit today in hopefully less than five minutes. Make sure to stick around to the end for some important gotchas that will save you a ton of time and perhaps even your keyboard's structural integrity. First up, trading hour templates, what they are, how to use them, how to change them. Second, getting new session information and why that's important. Third, how to check for end session. And fourth, those gotchas. IntraTrader comes pre-installed with a ton of trading hour templates depending on what instrument and what market you're trading. Today we'll use the S&P 500 futures contract during the day session to demo the session iterator. The way you set your trading hours is in your data series settings. Let's take a look. Here I have a simple ES 15 minute chart open and as you can see here, there's a drop down under the data series setting time frame section called trading hours. For today's demo, we'll choose the CME US index futures RTH. Once we click OK, data will be reloaded and now we only see bars for the ES day session. So now that we've seen how easy it is to filter to the specific data that we want, let's leverage this in a tool like an indicator. Jumping over into Visual Studio, I have a class open here, Demo Session Iterator. This class is a basic indicator and has a few items in it of note, session begin date, session end date, and session iterator. These are the three basic fields that you'll need to get the session iterator working for you. By the way, if you want to see how I set up Visual Studio to work with NinjaTrader, I'll leave a video card at the end as well as a link below to this rather long-winded video. I'm serious, it's 13 minutes long, but it's packed to the brim with information on how to get NinjaTrader and Visual Studio working well together. Going down to the on state change, here's where I create my session iterator object, which as you can see takes a bars parameter. I'm really big on trying to make my trading tools as performant as possible and I found a super efficient way to check if we're in a new session by using two other built-in properties. I'll show you that here in on bar update. As you can see here in this if statement we are checking if this is the first tick of the bar and if this is the first bar of the session. If it is we do a quick null check and then this method is where the magic actually happens. This get next session method is in the session iterator class and it handles all the heavy lifting for us. All we have to do is give it the most recent time. This base.time0 will do exactly that. And it returns true if it's able to get the session information, the next session information. Underneath it sets all these date time properties which we can use to store in these fields. So in less than 15 lines of code we can now get information based on a specific block of market hours. I've included a helper method, which is is in session. And what it does is it looks at the time versus the beginning and the end of the session iterator. If it's within those, it's going to return true. And then you know that you're in session. The reason you might want to do something like that is say you have some really complex statistic that you're calculating or some other heavy lifting that you're doing. You don't want to have to do that if you don't need to. So if you're not in session, there's no need to do those calculations. This is a quick method. It's very cheap as far as performance. And that's it for the session iterator. All that's left now is to talk about those gotchas, so let's cover those. So now that everything works, let's get into the gotchas. No feature demo would be complete without covering some of the small details, which can definitely catch you off guard. For session iterator, there are three main ones I want to cover, and each are quick, so hang in there. First, who respects session iterator as well as the trading hours and who ignores it? Second, time zone, local versus exchange. And third, make sure your data has actually been loaded. For the first one, session iterator is a very powerful feature, but it will only filter data events fired for on bar update 
based on your trading hours set. What does that mean when you're creating a trading tool? If you're using other data overrides like on market data or on market depth, you won't get the filtering of data from your trading hours template applied. Number two, time zone local versus exchange. These fields that we're saving when we get a new session are based on this property, actual session begin and actual session end. These times are converted to whatever your local machine is set to. If you need the actual exchange time, you can go in and use other properties that will give you exactly that. Number three, make sure your data has been loaded. What you need to do is when you create your session iterator, it takes a bars object. You need to double check that this bar object is not null. If it is, what I like to do is give myself a heads up in the Ninja Trader Control Center. I log an error, that way it will show up something like this. That wraps up today's feature demo. If you like this sort of quick hit format, make sure to let me know with the like button and in the comments below. Subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss any future feature demos, and I'll see you next time.